Okay, so I've gotten to get my chair because I'm not um, at Sudsy Paw where my table goes up and down, so my back starts to hurt. So he doesn't really love the front paws. As you can see, he's very ticklish like his mother. So what I'll do is, I'll start with the back end first. I did this as a puppy, leave it, leave it. Nope, leave it. Apollo, leave it. Good boy. Then I'll rub it. I won't even cut it at this point. Just kind of rub it, play with it, and then move to his back feet, which he tolerates. Uh, 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 uh. A little bit more. So he decided to stand up and snort like a horse when they do when they get frustrated. And I very quickly give him, you know, a, a very kind of topical foot cleaning, just going downwards with the grain so that this is not about a super clean, you know, groomer like foot. This is more. Um, just uh, uh, let's see how far we can get with each foot in this particular sitting. And I'll do the other one from inside first. Get some different angle before I have to move my chair, and then he'll tend to want to get tired after he's been standing up. So none of this is what a groomer would tell you to do. He just saw something outside. So Apollo, come. Hey, Apollo. Good boy, Storm. Apollo, table, come on, come on, come on. when you don't use an arm but at the same time it also makes it a friendly fun play uh, you know allows them to um, you know, not quite have a choice but to when well, you can ask them to do it a little bit more than you can forcing them to do it and like I said I want grooming to be a, a nice experience for both of us it's uh he's being a brat Apollo come jump. Alright, this obviously is kind of what you deal with. Why don't you sit? Huh? Why don't you sit? Relax. Hey. You need some yoga music? Hey. Hey. Relax. Relax. Usually I get kisses at this point. He doesn't really jump off because where I normally groom him, um, there aren't that many distractions. Thank you, thank you. And what I've learned here too is, the tighter I hold his paw, the more he fights me. Bless you. And so I have to make sure he doesn't pull out. Jillian taught me this. He can't. He can't have the choice. It's not his choice to pull away from me. Um, but I want to make sure I'm not tiring him out. So it's kind of a balance between how much can he do now, and how can we make sure he ends on a good note, and how you know how much can I groom him because he needs to be groomed, and it's not oh you know it's not worth not grooming him at all. Leave it. Good. Leave it. Oh, leave it. Good boy. So, leave it. Ah, 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 ah. Leave it. Nope. Good. 
Now, to be fair, of course this tickles him. And of course, you know, it would tickle any of us to have your, and probably does if you go get manicures, you know what I'm talking about, and pedicures, to have somebody messing with your feet and trimming you, which especially if you haven't been asking for a manicure or pedicure. Okay, so that's the front right paw. So as you can see, it's not as easy for him and it's the, the, black, the back one. But just to give you an example of the clippers that I use, since he was a puppy, I probably should get some newer ones because they're even. Like that. I just do the tip. And if I just do the tip every week, I'm keeping it just the way it needs to be. If I wait, leave it. Leave it. Um, then I'm going to have a problem. because then it's going to get too long and then I'm going to have to start using the Dremel and nobody likes the Dremel including me. This is actually not as hairy as the other foot and I don't know why. Did I already do it? Maybe. Sometimes if I leave it, leave it, no, I'll call it leave it. This is why it's important to, to pin up the, the ears because then his ears, I literally took off a chunk of hair off his ears once when he was leaning down. Okay, thank you for the kisses. Leave it, leave it. Leave it. I'll push his head sometimes that way with my arm just because I don't want to give him the option. Now, I mean, the other thing you can do is just um, put an arm on your grooming table. Their head can't move. But we have a different understanding. So when he stands up like that, I just stay holding on. I pet him. I get in here. I do something with it so that he doesn't think he can then pull away. Wait. You gotta wait. I'll clip him. Leave it. not for you honey you just when you're doing it yourself and you're not a professional you just have to be super patient right baby oh and get lots of kisses he sometimes what he'll do is um he'll literally push his whole body into me because he knows that he's using his body to say I don't want to do this I don't want to I don't want you clipping my toenails we and, you know, it's come now to, um, all right. Wait, wait. Now it's much easier to do this on a smaller dog because you have control of their head, leave it. And the one thing I don't wanna do is trim his tongue. So this is why I'm struggling. He's not really fighting me, maybe a little bit. I mean, obviously he could jump off if he wanted to. Good boy, see, see? Now, I may stop here. Let me do his face a little bit more. We pulled off the blade. What I'll do is because he's sitting up and he, he's looking at me, did you see him roll his eyes? I'll grab his collar, which he doesn't love, but I don't want him to jump, especially when I'm doing the left side which is the most difficult for me. Let me stop the video and start it over because it will be too big to transfer. Wait.